Yes, I'm actually going to say it. These are the best adjustable dumbbells in the UK. In fact, I'd say they were perfect, except for... No point dragging this out. Let's start with the main feature that stood out to me. Imagine trying to swim without any water. That's exactly what most of those pink lightweight dumbbells are like, in my opinion. It's trying to build muscle without lifting any significant weight. And to be honest, people can outgrow the common 25 kilogram adjustable dumbbells like a Bowflex. Sure, this is enough weight for most people, especially if you slow the tempo down, increase the reps and do harder exercises. But let's face it, you could probably preach a curl more than this with a bit of dedication. And many people will need more weight for the bench press, squats, Bulgarian split squats, rows, Romanian deadlifts and shoulder presses, just to name a few. So with a max weight of 41.5 kilograms these are way better than most other adjustables but the downside is that you can't add more weight like you can with iron masters or the power block extension packs however assassin goods trump these two in the next category that we assess adjustable dumbbells on now despite what you may have been told small is sometimes better in this case the small being the increments i'm yet to see any dumbbell set that goes up in 1.5 kilogram increments sure there are the micro gains or the alternatives where you can add them onto dumbbells but on a set of adjustables i just don't think this exists i knew i'd like it but i didn't really realize how much until i've been using them for the past month initially i thought this would be great for lat raises and exercises that you can't really handle as much weight on but it turns out it's been super helpful for things like my heavy shoulder presses where i've got some weird inability to lift the first rep but then I can smash out another 10. The 1.5 increments have helped me go from 27.5 to 32 kilograms in just one month and honestly before these dumbbells I was just stuck at 27.5 for months. I just could not lift 30 kilograms for the first rep. The jump was just too high and obviously the flat ends make it way easier to kick the dumbbells up when doing this. I think my other Bowflex style dumbbells just dug into my legs a little bit and make it a little bit awkward to kick them up. So remember, I am about to show you the one thing that stops these dumbbells from being perfect in my opinion. But first, did you know quick isn't always a bad thing? Just like small is sometimes better. If you know, you know. The stealth dumbbells are super quick to change between similar weights. If you're going from a 25 kilogram Bulgarian split squat to a 30 kilogram Romanian deadlift, it's pretty much instant and really simple. But when you go from a nine kilogram lat raise to a 40 kilogram row, just look at how long it takes. Now, for me, this hasn't been an issue because I do like a bit of rest, but if you're into quick circuit training or Tabatas, then this may be a bit frustrating for you. So there was one thing that I thought was going to be the big downside with these dumbbells. But when I was using them, I actually realized this is kind of like a benefit. Now, before I show you why, let's get to the moment you've been waiting for. What is the one thing that stops these from being perfect for me? Well, it's to do with the mechanics of them. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the fact that you can get hold of the handle and then just change the weight quickly and easily with one hand. There's no fiddly button to press and get stuck and there's nothing to screw on and off and you don't need to slide any pins in or anything like that. And it's made drop sets the quickest and most effective out of any drop sets I've done on any other dumbbells ever. Yeah, even just normal dumbbells, you have to let go of the handle and go and pick up another one. This one, you just... They're also really good because they get bigger and smaller. So as you lift a lower weight, they're much smaller, which is ideal for tricep extensions over the head and other lifts. However, other dumbbells stay the same size, whether they're the lightest weight or the heaviest weight, and it just makes certain lifts a little bit awkward and get in the way, particularly with the lighter weight. But, and this is the big but. <laughs> These are the best adjustable dumbbells in the UK. In fact, I'd go as far to say they are perfect, except for the way the plates fall in on themselves on the base. When you're trying to rack 38 kilograms after a bench press and your vision's gone a little bit blurry, the last thing you want is the plates to fold in on themselves and you can't put them back in. You have to then set the dumbbells down on the floor, sort the plates out, do a deadlift with the dumbbell, carefully place the dumbbell back in on the rack. And this is something that wasn't even on my radar initially in the unboxing video. If there was a way of making these plates be able to stay upright and in 
place, I don't think there's anything else that I would want to change with these dumbbells. Otherwise, you're probably gonna sacrifice this lower price range. And to be frank, all the other things that I was concerned about in the unboxing video just don't seem to matter. Such as, the rattling when you shake them. So I've read a ton of reviews online and the biggest negative review that I see about these dumbbells is the fact that they rattle when you use them. However, I have never once thought, oh, I hope this rattling doesn't disturb my neighbors or these feel really unsafe. I shouldn't really use them or I don't really trust these because they rattle a bit. They're so solid. I don't know what these people are talking about. And as Assassin Goods have explained to people in the past as well, is that it's just rattling because it's metal on metal. To avoid it, you'd have to put some plastic or something in between them, which is just gonna cause more issues down the line because the plastic's probably gonna break. And speaking of which, the next category that we assess dumbbells on are the materials used. And because they are mainly made from metal, it does mean they should be more robust than adjustable such as the brain games where there was a lot more plastic being used. Now I've done a few drop tests, but look, I'm not gonna just drop them from above my head because I wouldn't do this with any dumbbells. Sure, there are times that you're gonna need to bail on a lift, but I would still always try and lower them as much as possible safely before dropping them. I don't think I've ever just chucked a pair of dumbbells down. So these tests were realistic tests for how the dumbbells will actually be used. And there really has been no notable damage that I've seen to the dumbbells. And I can't say I've been particularly gentle with them. Okay, I may have taken the drops a little bit far. The dumbbells still work, but you can see the plate here where there's definitely a little bit of a gap opened up between it. You compare that to a normal plate like this, and you can see this could be an issue over time. But again, you can just buy these as replacements on the website. However, the 0.75 kilogram part is made from plastic and it's the little nub in here that does give me a bit of a concern. Now I really have dug into tons of other people's reviews and I can't see anyone saying that there is become an issue or broken for them so far. Also, the plastic on the base is clearly an issue as this actually broke when it initially got shipped out to me. But as I mentioned in the unboxing video, you can actually get a replacement for all parts of the dumbbell. And these are actually quite a reasonable price compared to buying the whole dumbbell itself. If you are careful and look after them, I think these are going to last you for a lifetime. Now, I don't want you to just take my opinion on it. So I'm gonna go and get the opinion of an expert in our team who's actually much better qualified than me. Do you prefer this one or this one? Uh, this one. Why do you prefer that one? Because I like how it hasn't got all of these in the middle. Ah, oh, you like prefer the knurling? So she actually made a valid point, which I hadn't even thought about, which is the knurling. And obviously some adjustable dumbbells just have like plastic handles. It's actually got a good grip with knurling on. So that's another positive. Now, the one thing that was a concern for me initially genuinely turned out to be a pro. Is the girth of the handle at a whopping 35 millimeters in diameter? Compared to a barbell's 28, 29 millimeters, this really does feel strange at first. It definitely affects your grip for carries, calf raises, Romanian deadlifts, and anything where you have to pull a heavy dumbbell up. But I've actually found it's helped my grip strength for things like a deadlift when I go back to using a normal bar. So my overall verdict? I would have to say, at the moment, these are the best adjustable dumbbells in the UK in my opinion. And that's just for overall value when you take into consideration the weight, the increments, the materials used, and the price point. I just think they're gonna be really, really tough to beat. Speaking about price, you can actually use the first link in the description below to get a discount when you go and buy these dumbbells. And also it helps to support the channel so we can make more content like this. Now it is easy to get overwhelmed when choosing dumbbells for the first time, as there appear to be hundreds of other options on the market. So just watch this video here, where I explain exactly what the options are. In reality, there's really only six types, and I summarize all of this in just 60 seconds within that video. Just skip to about three minutes in, in case you really want that bit.